Hey, gentlemen, <clears throat> time for a mail call. Get out my trusty knife. This one came from uh, Craftsman Studio up there in, uh, where is it? Washington. Oh, Everett, Washington. And if uh, they don't have a card I can post, I will put a link down below to where I got this because it came free shipping, which is rare. So, open it up. Voila, the box. <clears throat> I like boxes like these. Because I can reuse them. Uh, mm. All right, so of course we got all the packing peanuts. They're going to get everywhere. Uh, all right, let me just get this thing out. What it is... Shapton, the Shapton glass stone. Uh, this should be, here it is, 8,000 grit. Uh, about 76 bucks, free shipping. Couldn't beat it anywhere. And it came to me in three days. So that's really cool. So um, I'm going to open this up uh, in the next room because the other two I had... Uh, they just, this is just a sleeve. This isn't even a box. It's a sleeve. And your stone can come flying out like it did one time with me before. So, uh, okay, I don't see a card in here. So, I'll catch you a little bit later. All right, gentlemen, before we get started, a word from my sponsor. Guinness Extra Stout, the best stout. <clears throat> Guinness makes another stout, but it's not near as rich as this one. And I despise it. I despise it. So, have something to drink while I work. All right, gentlemen. So, make sure this thing is on. <clears throat> so, these are these are the stones. This is my setup. I use this little tray. Here, um, it has these pegs in it that keep all my stones separated so they don't bang into each other. <clears throat> so, this is my 400 grit Atoma plate diamond. It's my 1200. And uh, strangely enough, the 1200 actually cuts better than the 400. So, this one here is my 10,000 grit uh, Shapton glass. This is my 4,000 4, grit Shapton glass. Uh, sorry, it's late in the evening. This is my 1K Chosera. This is uh, this is my 12K uh, Nanny. I brought this out of retirement. I may or may not use this. Um, depends on how this uh, my razor is going to shave. Um, this is my Jane Atta, of course. This is my new stone. This is the Shapton Glass 8000. Uh, this one is put in properly. The first two stones that I got it was actually put in like this. So as soon as you took off the cellophane, the stone just slides right out. I did drop it on the carpet. So, uh, so but this one was put in right, and I'm happy about that. This one here is the 8,000 grit. And it's a pristine stone. Very nice. Uh, very, very nice. So uh, uh, I'm going to lap all these. I was, it's late at night right now, I'm not going to do it with my, I'm not going to lap with my silicone carbide like I was wanting to, <clears throat> but I'll do it next time. Um, so does use my diamond plates. And one thing about the JNAT is that it almost always seems to need lapping. So I lap it real light on the 12K, then I hit it on my Chinese blue, it's about a 15,000 grit. It's going to under running water. It's going to do this to it. So, so that's how I do that. So, um, I think what I want to do is uh, put these two together like this. 
I, I should probably eliminate something here, but not today. But this is the, you know what that is. That's the Philharmonica 14. And uh, I've been having some issues with it. I'm really hoping that the 12th, the uh, 8,000 grit that I just bought, uh, and it was it was suggested by uh, Joseph over at Edge Dynamics to get this because it is a pretty good leap from the 4K to the 10K. So that's that's a that's a good addition. I agree definitely with that. So I got a good good buy on that. I'm happy as hell about that. So anyway, um, I'll be back when uh, I get to. The 8K, Shapton Glass, I'm expecting uh, it to pretty much feel exactly like the other stones do. Uh, the other stones are like have a real familiar feel to them, so, so I do like that about it. So I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I just ran the razor over the 1K, which was Sarah with a slurry, then with clear water. This is my 4K diamond plate, diamond plate, my 4K uh, Shapton glass. And uh, now on my 8K, and I'll tell you, I lapped all four of these stones uh, in five minutes, which is really nice. Uh, some stones take a long time, <clears throat> like my uh, 20K Swirl, that thing took forever. And I had to lap it every time I was surprised by that. But uh, one thing that, that I found um, earlier that I forgot about between my two uh, lapping plates was that the 1200 grit actually cuts better than the 400 grit. So take it as you will, right? So uh, I killed the edge three times on my Philharmonica and... Uh, Water's already getting dark. Uh, it feels real familiar, like I was thinking. Uh, it's not unlike the other stones, the other shaft and glass stones. So I do 30 30 on each stone. So I'm going to switch over to the 10K real quick. As you can see, there's still some low spots on the ends, but that'll work out over time. You can feel the suction as as the edge trues. If there's a suction that is created, so that's it, man. I'll see you in the mirror. Hey, gentlemen, the time has finally come to test this razor. Last night I went through the progression of a 1K, 4K, 8K, 10K, and the uh, of course the Janet, and I think. The 8K made a big difference. I can just, I can feel it with my thumb and the edge is just pristine under the glass. So I am stoked and I'm ready for a shave. So today I am using the Dapper Docks from Phoenix Artesian Accoutrements. Uh, it's been a while since I've used this and it smells really great. It smells like cherries, maraschino cherries to me. I'm going to finish off with the Astro Traveler. Today we're having a dinner for my wife. 
to celebrate uh, her dad's life. And uh, her two kids are coming over. And on the menu, I bought some, I think they're one inch off the major, but they're really thick ribeye steaks. And uh, and we're cooking a, uh, I'm gonna cook a, a, wild, a uh, holiday rice, which consists of, uh, I'm gonna use the uh, jasmine rice and some wild rice together. And I'm going to uh, uh, add some uh, cubed butternut squash that's put under the broiler to, to brown. And herbs, it's gonna have uh, wild or sweet cherries and some golden uh, golden raisins too. It should be really good. It should be all I need. So I'm, I am excited about this shave. And like I said before, whenever I get a new stone or a new procedure and the test shave goes good, I do all my razor like that. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So. Anyway, so I'll pull my steaks out about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, because they're pretty thick, before it's time to cook them, so they temper. So when you cook them, they are, um, they cook really well. And I'm gonna use a uh, cast iron plate I got for Christmas. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna heat it up on a stove. I'm gonna get my barbecue going nice, so it gets nice and hot. And I'll char each end, each side of the steak on the stove with the uh, iron. Then I'll put it in the barbecue because I don't think that barbecue gets hot enough to do what I want it to do. And I don't want to experiment with, with these steaks. So let me uh, put some pre shave on. So uh, it's really nice outside too. So that's me a good day. I'm not going to do a complete shave because the video is probably already 10 minutes long before I started the shave. So I'll just do a little quick test shave and uh, call it good. So, all right. Okay. Look at the lather. Mmm. Smells a lot like chilla and uh, razor rocks. Razor rocks? Uh, what's it called? 109 or something. It smells a lot like, like that. I have I have the uh, 109. I think it's a 109. What is it called? Well, I was close. It's the Razor Rocks P160. So it smells a lot like that. So, uh, now if I would have known, I probably wouldn't have bought this soap. But this is one of those soaps I bought in that little shave shop I was talking about, uh, where I get everything uh, for a good price. No shipping required. So, all right, check it out. Right, so, so I, I choke up on a razor with my thumb like that for better control and you hear cutting mmm nice wow right through. So my question when I was honing is, I had the Shafton glass four and 10,000, and I would do um, 30 laps on each of those. And then, uh, so I got the 8,000 grit. I did 30 on that also. And my thing and my concern is, did I over hone the razor? Um, it's cutting good. It's 
so. Uh, I actually might dial it back a little bit to honing because uh, man, this tip is just very well done. That was uh, part of the razor I've had trouble with before. And uh, that was cutting pretty nice. All right, man, I'll be, right, I'll be back in my final pass. All right, the razor is cutting very well. I haven't did a suicide blonde up here, just a little small one, but, uh, and uh, it, it was good. I liked it. Uh, I would get another razor and, uh, and see if I can dial down the uh, laps so I don't get so many laps, because right now, just on the three shafting glass, I'm getting 90 laps. Try to get that down to like 60 and see how that responds. But I'll do that on another one of my premium racers. Check it out, shall we? Just a little bit right here. It's always it's always the same on both sides. Just kind of a trip because it just doesn't seem like it would even be possible. So um Feels really super good, man. I'm like, I'm happy. You know, and oh, and you know, in the video that I did, the first part of the video, I didn't mention that uh, I was going to finish on the JNAT, but I did. Slurry and then clear water. So that is that. Let me put on a little loom. No stinging. I don't have time in this video, but maybe I should show people how to. A little, I'll talk about the differences between mustache waxes and how to apply them. There is a difference, and I made my mustache wax a specific way to eliminate all kinds of problems, and that's just what I did. So. 
Okay. So now the piece la resistance. I know Joe, I'm not pronouncing la should be da. So it's a good, I like this aftershave too. Ah, I love the smell good first thing in the morning. Uh, all right, man. So I just got a really great shave using my Dapper Dock and the Astro uh, Traveler. And I am very pleased with how the uh, Philharmonica came out. So I'm out of here. Y'all take care. And remember, even if you got to temper steaks before you cook them, it's still a good day for a shave. Later.